Jenny, it's Stephen. You mean she's not with him? Stephen, excuse me, I can't seem to find her. Yes, I'll tell her. Good night. Annie, where is your sister? After she and Doug headed out, Buddy came running upstairs, and then about five minutes later left by the back door. Why didn't you say something? I swore to keep it a secret for at least an hour. Besides, I thought she was going to see Stephen. Where else would she go? If her plane flies at 750 miles per hour, I guess she's somewhere over Cleveland. Annie, no joking. Kate, I'm not kidding. She had a suitcase. Okay, listen to this. Miles and miles of deserted, white, sandy beaches, warm waters, cool sea breezes. What would you say to a week in the Caribbean? I'd say bon voyage. Okay. I don't much care to be in the same room with you, let alone a deserted island. Buddy's gone. What do you mean, gone? Annie says she's run away. That's ridiculous. Buddy hasn't run away since she was a little girl. That's exactly the way you've been treating her lately. Okay, she's 17 years old. You're telling me?
didn't come here about Buddy, Mr. Lawrence. I came here to see you. Mrs. Lawrence, I'd like to speak to your husband alone for a moment. Of course. Upstairs. I was invited here for dinner tonight. I didn't think it was a very good idea, but Buddy insisted that I come. She thought if you got to know me better, you might give me a chance. But after she called me on the phone and told me what you'd seen at the lumber yard, I realized that wasn't going to happen. You're a lawyer, Mr. Lawrence, and you condemn me without any kind of a trial. I was a no good, a two-timer, is that right? Something like that. Well, the girl you saw me with was my girlfriend for three years. We still see each other from time to time as friends. She needed a friend. I was there. That's it. But what I want to tell you, Mr. Lawrence, is that no matter who that girl was, no matter what I do or what you think of me, I'm going to continue seeing your daughter. Stephen, you had no reason to trust me. So that's all right. But to not give Buddy the benefit of the doubt, She's just too special. And I'd have thought you'd know that. Excuse me, Stephen. Wait here. you climbed up there. You have to understand that part of me wants you to remain exactly the way you were then. A little girl in a treehouse was afraid to fall and made me promise to hold on tight. I promised. I held on. And I guess I'm still afraid that if I let go too soon, you'll fall. Maybe fly away. Now you met this boy, a young man, really. I didn't realize how formidable he was until tonight. Maybe I did. You're going out to college next year. Not too fast. Buddy, I treated you badly. I was selfish and disrespectful. And I am very, very sorry. But I love you. I know, that's a poor excuse. It's the only one I have. Buddy, say something. Even a grunt. So I'll know you heard me. When I was little, I decided to run away. Packed my suitcase. I'd walk down that hall, right past your room. Say goodbye, honey. I'll see you later. 
has marched down those stairs. Ten minutes later, I'd be up here in the street house. Knowing that sooner or later you'd find me. I guess I knew that you'd find me this time, too. I'm leaving. And, and it is soon. And I'm scared. But some part of me will always be up here in this tree house. Waiting for you in the house. 